Hey y'all, what is going on? Hopefully you're having a good one. I am out here in Phoenixville, which I'm super excited about because last time I was here, I had a, a lot of fun and I fished the Schuylkill River. So that is what is on the agenda today. We have a special guest. Milestone is here. I convinced her to come out for a little date day. So we just wrapped up fishing. Uh, the goal was to get on smallmouth. And after fishing, we were gonna head into town and grab some lunch and some beers. Mal, you wanna cue the intro? All right, people, we've hit some snags today, and I think my chances of getting a quality video out are slim, but there's a chance we might still be able to turn this around. God, too tough to tell. Tough to tell because I'm going through what is the equivalent of Snag City. Don't mind going through it though because I can get my lure if do get snagged. It's not that deep. There we go. On the board with our friend, the red breast. Boy, beautiful colors. Beautiful colors on our friend. Mmm, gosh. Cool. I know he isn't the best that we're looking for, or the monster fish, but we are a decent amount of time into this journey and we haven't caught anything yet so it is a good sign to see a fish quick look for the people as i drop my pliers in the water and we let them go So I'm gonna state the obvious. Um, we clearly didn't come here to catch red breast. But I was fishing for, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes and I hadn't really even seen a fish. Like not even a little bait fish, so good sign. And maybe we just go through here again. <laughs> just takes like one bass, just lurking and then poof. I think a bass was following too though. And just like that, our second species of the day, our friend, the bluegill. Cool thing is my backpack, I have both a crankbait lure that looks like a bluegill and one that looks like a red breast. So that is an option as we go forward in the day. Now I did see what I thought was a bigger fish behind him. I say this all the time, if y'all are using these crankbaits with the treble hooks, make sure you have a small pair of pliers, just cause like, you need it for a fish like this. It's probably big enough for us to lip. Well, there we have it. The bluegill with the lure dangling in front of him. All right, well that's enough of sunfish, unless we catch a monster one. I'm probably gonna catch a zillion more, but they won't be included in the video. Let's get on the bass. I think I might be one of the few bass fishing YouTubers. I'm not really a bass fishing YouTuber. I'm a multi-species fishing YouTuber. But with that being said, even when I go for bass, I include the bait fish because they matter. You cannot have a healthy bass population without bait fish. Right over here is where I actually caught um, really big smallmouth last time I was here. So it would be fantastic to repeat that. Oh, this screams kind of Helgramite water to me. Let's throw a little bit with this guy. I don't think that's a, that is a fish. <laughs> and it is a small jaw. I thought I was on a rock. Cool. We will um, take it. Obviously this is not going to uh, win me a Bassmaster Classic. But this is an awesome fish. 
Oh. It's one of the issues with these treble hooks, guys. I don't like that they uh, sometimes hook our friends in less than ideal places. So let's do a couple. Of things. Oh man. Okay. But well, <laughs> he unhooked himself and hooked me. That is pretty funny actually. Cool. That went way smoother than expected and could have gone pretty poorly. All right, last time I was here, I definitely saw some fish here. We just kind of ran out of time. I would have liked to fish this little spot a bit more. So guess what? Sometimes in life you do get a do over. There we go. Well, a dink of a large mouth, but we'll take it. Especially on a slow day like today. So we got two bass. I mean, it's cool. Actually, we have four fish in four different species, which is always cool. I probably care about that more than most people. Oh. But, um, nothing worth bragging about yet. Cool. So we threw the crankbait through there a couple times. Went back to the Heldramite. Well, now the fly man's doing. I haven't seen him catch anything yet, but I uh, also it's kind of loud, so you wouldn't really hear it. Is this a fish? Yeah. Feels decent. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> he's not the biggest smallmouth, but he's definitely not the worst. In the side of the mouth. Strange. I wonder if he, uh, like swiped at it and no it's I don't know all right well he's the he's our nicest bass of the day which isn't saying too much let's be honest but let's take a little look at our friend pretty bass healthy let's let him go cool I honestly don't know if I've mentioned it in any of my other videos, but I've got a new rod and this is a medium light. So I've been switching between an ultra light and a medium light today. And I'll tell you on that fish, just a little bit of extra power this medium light has uh, was really helpful in pulling him out because he was in some of the currents. So it's a Bass Pro Shops rod and a Cast King reel that I bought on Amazon. Um, I'll see if I can figure out, I don't know my voice crack. I'll see if I can figure out where uh, this rod is online and put in the description. I know where this reel is So I'll add that to the description as well in case any of y'all want it. It was pretty cheap I want to say all in this was like in maybe an 80 or 90 dollar combo You know 40 dollars or 50 bucks on the reel 40 50 on the rod I don't remember exactly what it was, but if y'all are curious and you want it. I'll put it in there I mean, I've liked it. I've landed some really cool fish on this Alrighty y'all we have made it to the dam here or the falls whatever you want to call it Let's hope our luck turns around a bit. We can get on some small jaws. Man, I'm hoping we can get a fish out of here. So compared to last time I was here, it's definitely higher and muddier. 
All right, making another audible because I got snagged on like my fifth cast. Um, I say, I think I said this in the last video. If you come here, these rocks are the slippiest rocks ever. And we're gonna change to a Euro Tackle Z Cranker Bluegill style. And hopefully this will catch us a fish because right now the fish are kicking my butt. All right. Interesting, interesting. Let's just uh, throw one of these right on through here. That's a fish. That's a fish. What is it? It's a small jaw. Here we go. The lure change works. Oh man, he's cut on his side. The bluegill crankbait works, and it, it's it's not hitting the bottom, so I'm not getting snagged. But he's uh, another smallmouth. It's, I mean, let's be honest, for a river, probably a little bit on the small side even. Now, with that being said, that smallmouth was small, but on this ultralight, man, they feel nice. Oh my gosh. Yo, that carp just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that was funny. I've actually seen a dude here, last time I was here, catch a carp on a fly. And it kind of makes sense after seeing what that carp just did. I know carp can be caught on flies. Dude, this dude is like right next to me. Man, if I had some corn, I'd have carp right now. Oh, there we go. He's a little bit better, but he's not. We're, we're still not catching monsters, but he's a. Good bass. I mean, I'm never going to be mad about a bass this size. And I know, you know, back home for y'all, like usually I crick fish. This is a very nice bass for my crick. For out here, small side. But we are starting to get into them a bit more. Take a little look at our buddy here. Beautiful fish. Oh, he's a solid fish. Still though, I know they get much bigger in here. Gosh, man, but if y'all are coming here and you fish those on the ultralight, they are fun. They'd even be fun on just like a medium light. Definitely gotta give the lure credit because it is doing what it was supposed to do. Okay, y'all should be able to see this now. Yep, he's at the top. Oh my gosh, that's cool. What the heck? That's cool. Fishing's fun, man. Fishing's fun. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. That is a pretty difficult place to fish. It's a bit tricky for two reasons. A ton of rocks on the bottom. So typically I'd work the Helgramite. Couldn't really work the Helgramite. It was getting snagged too much. What I could have done is gone back and rigged it weedless. Uh, tried a different rig other than the Ned rig, but I didn't. 
<laughs> the other issue you run into is there is a lot of uh, vegetation in some areas. So every once in a while, your, your lure will get stuck on that or you'll bring a little bit with you. But if you bring it with you, you're not catching a fish. That's the deal. So we tried a couple different things, but the Eurotackle crankbait ended up being our best option here. Uh, the other lures were either just not getting hits or getting snagged too often. So sometimes people say fishing is lucky. I don't think it's luck. I think it's knowing, you gotta know something, but it's also perseverance or, and or determination. All right, well, I'm going to leave the dam and probably go try to fish some other spots. Hopefully we catch something. If not, I'll probably just cut to the outro. Fortunately, I don't think so. There we go. Another largey. I've been finding that this Helgramite has been working really, really well with the largemouth bass lately. There we go. Let's give him a little look-see. Again. Like, it, it's, it's probably even on the smaller side of what you'd expect out here. I also had a nice little spiel about how it's funny that there's smallmouth over here and largemouth here. Like, it's just very small, they're, they're small distance-wise, but totally different waters. So just something to keep in mind, largemouth, more stagnant, smallmouth, faster moving rivers. Largemouth, more stagnant ponds or lakes and little areas like this. Well, it wasn't the best day of fishing, but it wasn't the worst. The bass we caught were, were decent, compared to like crick bass. But for rivers, honestly, they're about medium to maybe even on the small side, but we caught a decent quantity. It was just a day where I had to change a lot of lures. It is a tough place to fish here, uh, as rocky as it is and as much vegetation as there is, but hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. See y'all.